Hi Rod. So um, I've put a D, G and a B string on. Uh, I've tuned the G up to A and the B up to D. So you get this. This is a distorted sound. So I'll give you a clean sound now, and you can hear what uh, what it's like clean. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bottom. I'm going to put replace the D string with an E string and tune it down to D, so it'll be an octave lower than that. So at the moment you've got that. That's with the D string, D, G, and B tuned up to A and D. It's quite sweet. But it might be a bit too, not, not as low as you want. So I'm going to go away now and I'll be back in a moment and I'll have to put an E string on that instead of the D. Hi Rod, so uh, I put an E string on now and tuned it to bottom D. It's like a drop D now. It's quite slinky, I'm not sure I like it. There's the A. You know what I'd do? I'd be thinking perhaps I can use the, the other tuning with the D string. So D, A, D, D string, G string, B string. And then if you wanted a bottom, bottom D, use an octave pedal and get a bottom D like that because this is... I don't know, you might like it. It's too slinky for me. It'll be huge with the distortion on. Hang on, let's put that on. Yeah, not sure. If it was me, I'd be using the D string. A D, and if I wanted to open D, I'd be I'd be D G B, and uh, and an octave pedal if I wanted that that low E, the low D. Sorry. It's you know it's big, but it's it's very very flappy. Usable, but up to you, your choice. There you go, I've given you a couple of choices, see what you think.